Yesterday, I showed you a truly shocking video. In it, you saw a dog carrying a massive tumor, the biggest you've ever seen. We called her Mary, and this dog was rescued from an owner. The owner neglected her, let the tumor grow, didn't do anything, and look where we are. When you look at, when you look at the comments in the video, you see that people are very upset with the owner. She will prosecute him and chase him and put him to jail. I understand all of that. You also see that many people compare her tumor and compare her plea with Alma's plea. Many people even ask, they are two dogs from the same breed? How is this possible? Could it be genetic? Now, today I'm going to tell you what happens with uh, dogs like Mary and with Alma. These dogs are Mastiffs. And in this country, Mastiffs are not really considered dogs. They are considered tools, big, massive tools to protect the flock, to protect the houses, to protect the fields, property. They're working dogs. And people, they just see that they are massive, they are big, they're powerful. They have in their heads, people have, I mean, they think, wow, these dogs are to fight with wolves and to protect us all and this and that. But then what happens when they have to be protected by us? You see, in yesterday's video, something quite sad happened. The tumor was so shocking and was so clearly out there. I mean, you couldn't ignore that. But the vast majority of people in, in our unconscious bias, a word that is now, you know, in vogue, we have an unconscious bias for dogs like this. They're too big, they're too powerful. Why help them? And as a result of this, in this country, you see very few mastiffs in vet offices. When a dog like Mary gets uh, sick, usually they don't receive any medical treatment. They are left to die. It's unbelievable, but it is the case. It is true. You go, I mean, I go to hospitals, I go to vets all over the country, and I rarely ever see a big mastiff. It just doesn't happen. Usually you see them when they are already nearly dead, when they have massive tumors, when, you know, that's because they never, never, were never paid any attention. And this happened yesterday in our video. People saw it, people saw the tumor, and then in the back of their heads, people thought, it's just a mastiff. Please have a look at this. This is Mary, she's so kind. And she's a mastiff that needs your help today. Oh, she's como Vania. Sí. Sí, igualita que Vania. Oh, oh. Pobrecita. Anda, que no. Madre mía, están los huesos. Esa 
ver. Uno, dos, y ahora el tres, una de cada Perfecto, muy bien. Ya está, ya está. Esto que lo hemos conseguido, ya está, muy bien. Vamos. Increíble, tienes razón tú. Pues más eh, espectacular aún. Sí, sí, no, pero la cosa es saber si esto está infiltra el hueso es solamente tejidos grandes. Si vos te, te, te fijas, la estructura sí. está conservada, bien, bien definido. Sí, sí. Yo soy muy buena, yo busco cariño nomás. Un poco más. Mira, mira. And that's Mary, and she's so incredibly sweet. She goes around asking for, you know, begging for food and wagging the tail and asking you to love her. She's big, she's a mastiff, but so what? She really needs our help today. She doesn't have the same soulful eyes, pleading eyes that Alma had, but it's the same dog. The same dog with an even bigger problem. I really hate to make videos like this, but sometimes I have to point out a things so that people pay attention. Mary needs our help. Today. Please donate. Help me save her. Thank you. 